hey guys welcome back to the channel um i already did an intro in the video that you are about to watch so um this video is about how to drain your hot water heater and um in the video i was saying when i do drain the water it was supposed to let the uh, pressure of the water go high but unfortunately that's not what i was supposed to say so after I build the after I build a video, um, wifey said it was supposed to make the hot water heat up a little bit faster. So um, it did work. It did allow the hot water to um, heat up faster after you drain your hot water heater, if that makes sense. So um, whatever whatever I say in that video, it was a mistake. The method was supposed to help with the water getting hot a little bit faster okay so um you guys know the routine just like share comment and subscribe so i might just um edit um the method was supposed to let the hot water heat up faster and it actually work so normally in the kitchen by the sink when we run in the, the water it take really really long to um heat up or get hot so that's why we end up draining the hot water eater and they say you're supposed to do it once a year so um you you guys know the routine like share comment and subscribe okay peace hey guys welcome back to our channel it's your boy rogo and i'm back with another video guys don't mind all of this junk around the hot water eater um i'm making this video to share with you guys um so from ever since we purchased this house the water um inside the house the pressure is really really low and um i guess wifey did some research and she said she wanted me to try um doing this so basically what i'm going to do i have this hose right here it's um running all the way to outside because i'm gonna um drain the water from the hot water heater i guess the video that she watch um watch they say when you drain the water it should let um help let the water pressure go back up i'm not really sure because i'm not a plumber okay so bear in mind i'm not a plumber so if you got one of these hot water eater in your house and you're trying to drain the water as well um you should see something like this right here it's like a um it's like a pipe that you got outside but this one is actually under the hot water eater so you just screw your hose on the bottom make sure it's really tight and then we are going to turn this on but before i'm going to turn it on and then i'm going to go outside and check it to see if water coming out and i also have the hose the hose in the driveway okay so i'm going to I'm gonna um, turn this on, then I will be right back. So give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I just turned it on and I hear water coming out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring you guys outside real fast to see if water coming out. I mean, I hear the water running, so water should be coming out. So give me one second, I'm about to go outside real quick and then we're gonna see if water coming out from there okay i'll be right back okay guys i'm back um i'm outside right now the water is coming out um the water the water that's coming out the tank i mean the hot water either kind of look white and also i see these little white stuff coming out I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but um, the video that wifey watch, I guess they say you should drain your hot water eater. I don't know if it's every year or every other year, but you guys can leave some comment down below and let me know how. Um, so for example, I'm draining it right now. Um, you can leave some comment down below and let me know like when is the next time I should do this because right now we are in 2023 okay so 
Um, I don't know what the hell is this white stuff. I guess that's all the build up. I, I'm gonna assume that's all the build up because it haven't been drained. Um, we did know you need to do all of this stuff, so I'm gonna say thanks for TikTok because TikTok be teaching you a lot. Um, so I'm gonna assume that's where she find the video on TikTok, or it could be somewhere else, it could be Facebook. I don't know. I didn't really ask her, but um, I don't even know how long I should let this run. I'm I'm gonna have to shoot her a message and ask her because the video she sent me, I didn't get to watch it. She just said, go ahead and um, drain the hot water heater. So I'm trying to see if I should drain it all the way till it's empty. I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to shoot her a text. And if she said drain it all the way till it's empty, I will be right back. Okay? So give me one second. Okay, guys. I'm back inside. Don't mind these on top of the, the hot water heater as well. I know we shouldn't have stuff on it, but um, this is all wifey stuff, okay? So I end up watching the video because I shoot her a text and she didn't respond right away. So I end up watching the video. They said the guy said um you should drain the hot water heater uh once a year. Also, when he was doing it, he turned the breaker off. I don't know why you need to turn the breaker off. It's not like I'm messing with electric or anything. Uh, also, this thing right here is um, to release the pressure. So I have it up right now. But before you attach the hose, I did it backwards. Um, I did it backwards. You, you're supposed to screw the hose on. Um, turn the water off. I just turn it off because I end up watching the video and then I turn it back on. You turn the water off, make sure the hose is screws, um, screwed properly to the, the hot water heater. And then you lift this thing right here to get, take the pressure off. I think turn the pressure on or turn the pressure off. I don't remember, but one out, one out of the two. To release the pressure, there we go. So to release the pressure, you to put this up turn the water back on and then you go from there i'm not a plumber guys she just sent me a video and said i should um do this and if it worked i'm gonna leave some comment i'm gonna leave a comment um down below and say yeah it worked okay so i'm gonna go back outside and um see if the color of the water changed i mean the water that's coming out is still dirty anyway so i'll be right back okay guys this is gonna be the final part of the video i don't see no more water coming out um to tell you the truth i don't know how much gallon should be coming out like i said i'm not a freaking um plumber guys i don't know how much water should be coming out but for right now the water is stopped running so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unscrew the hose uh, make sure the bottom part that I had the hose connect, make sure that it's turned back off and not on so it won't um, wet the laundry room up or so that no water won't come out. And then I'm gonna go from there. If this uh, make the pressure of the water go back up, um, that would be cool. But whenever we using the water outside, the pressure is really high. But once you go inside and turn the water on, the pressure drop inside so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe um yeah just leave some comment down below the guy said you should do this once a year so not sure if this is gonna help but like i said guys um if it do let the water pressure go back up i would leave a comment and said it actually worked if it don't work i would say it don't work okay so don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace, I'm out. Okay, guys, like I said, I, was, I did it backwards. So what happened, um, water coming out some more, but I'm going to go get ready to turn it off. She said, I guess you can let it stay for like 10, 5 or 10 minutes. So she basically said we should see the first video that I make with the white stuff coming out. That's what we want to see. So I'm going to get ready to turn it off. But um, I end up turning off, turning off the the lock off and then turn it back on and then we had some more water coming out so 
that's about it again guys um don't forget to like share comment and subscribe because the five to ten minute already passed i'm not trying to drain the hot water eat the hot water container whatever you want to call it completely so that's it guys like share comment and subscribe peace and love. I never see you